Hi guys, it's 18th, Monday the 18th of February. Um, I've just cooked this omelette. Now I'm not usually very good at cooking omelettes, but for some day, some some reason today it actually went quite well. So um, I've just done um, some mushrooms in there and put some cheese on top. Um, I'll put a splash, just a splash of oat um, milk in the eggs and then um, fried, fried the mushrooms, put the egg whixed eggs mixture in, waited for, waited, for, waited for it, get your words out, burned it, waited for it so that I could flip half of it over, put the cheese on top and then grilled the cheese and then put some salt pepper, not pepper, salt and garlic with a little bit of um, um, ketchup on. So this is the first time I have made a perfect omelette. So I think I should give myself a pat on the back for that. However, getting my words out today and mixing up words, not a pat on the back. So, so I'm going to have this now with my green tea and see where the day takes me and see whether you hear from me again. Um, 5k done. I've filmed it again. Battery seems to be a bit better this time, so hopefully I'll take it out on an, another a 10k. Today is Tuesday the 19th. Um, so yeah, 10k not 10 to k i've done a 5k i filmed it um i think my camera must have turned itself off and turned it back on again because halfway through filming it recognized 12 minutes of filming and i haven't done 12 minutes because it took me 43 minutes to get the 5k run done um so i can hear a car coming oh they've closed the road off, road off in my um village I'll try and post the run and show you it. So all cars are coming down my road now. I'll get on the embankment. So, so yeah, all the cars, all cars now are coming up for, onto my ooh, my side of the road. Sorry, I just got caught on a bamboo bush there. I'm trying not to pluck any of my my uh, equipment. So yeah, um. Um, I'm going to try and edit the video that I did on the 10k so hopefully that'll be going up any day now um, footage of the run is very wobbly so I do apologize for that footage however I haven't got a selfie stick at the moment so I'm trying to get my husband to invest in a selfie stick for me so I can give you better quality footage of my runs but trial and error, as they say. Oh, another car coming. Trial and error, yes. So one day, when I'm uh, when I've got the uh, decent equipment, I will um, I will uh, hopefully have some better content with some better footage. Okay, well, I'm going to go home now. I'm going to have some breakfast. Like I said, I'm going to edit some videos and that. And uh, if the day takes me well, I will uh, do some more filming for you. If it doesn't, I shall see you again. Hi, guys. I thought I'd do this um, little shopping haul. Um, everything you say see here is vegetarian or vegan. And a disclaimer, I'm not vegetarian or vegan. However, I do like to eat some of the products. So um, me and my husband have tried some of these products and some of these products we haven't. So I'm going to go with the Tesco's products. Um, this is a vegetarian peanut butter and avocado burger. Now we've never tried this, so we're going to look forward to trying to eat this. Um, I love avocados, he loves that, um, peanut butter, so that should be a good mix. So um, once we've tried that, um, I will let you know how it tastes like. Um, the spicy bean burgers we have tried. Um, they are very delicious. Um, 
they're undescribably delicious. Um, uh, if you don't like spicy foods, though, they're not too spicy. But if you, if you're not keen on spices, probably not for you. And we've never tried this, the vegetarian quarter pounder. So um, I think it'll probably be similar to, it'll probably be between them two burgers. It looks quite nice on the packaging. So, um, so yeah, again, haven't tried these. Um, once I do try them, I'll try and do a taste test on when I'll try them and everything. So, but yeah, we thought we'd get them, we'd try them. Then... We haven't tried Linda McCartney's burgers, so we thought we'd get some Linda McCartney um, burgers. Now, I do like some of Linda McCartney's products, actually. So, um, yeah, and then we've got Linda McCartney's vegetarian sausages. Now, I do like these. I do like these. I have these in a sandwich. I'll have them in a stew. I'll have them on their own. Um... But yeah, me and my husband have tried these and we find the Linda McCartney sausages a lot better than actual meat sausages. So yeah, we do we do like having the um them sausages. And I have tried these ones as well and I like uh, these ones. They do do a roasted pepper one I think, but I'm not so keen on that one. But I do like the rosemary and the onion ones as well. Um, and then we have, yes, Magnums. Anyone who's vegan and who you didn't used to be a vegan who loved Magnums, you can get Magnums now. Woo! I actually prefer these. I have tried these. Um, I actually prefer these to, um, the actual normal Magnums. They don't fill you up. They leave you light. They've got the vegan logo on. Can you see that? Vegan Logan. Logan. I know what I'm trying to say. Logo. Um, but yeah, I have tried these. I love them very much. And um, like I said, I will. I'm not a, um, I'm not a vegetarian. I'm not a vegan. Um, I do now and again occasionally have meat. Um be quite frankly I've been craving meat quite the last couple of days as you saw in my last vlogs I've been having a lot of red meat which we don't normally have much red meat um me and my husband usually like to eat fish or chicken and then any red meat or pork is a special event we only we try and only eat them on special occasions if we do want them but however we will eat vegetarian options if they are out there um i mean me and my husband today were talking about um what to do for dinner today and i was thinking about doing these burgers with my chippy fried sort of like my chippy crispy potatoes that I usually do, that my husband loves. So there we are, that's my vegetarian and vegan um, shopping haul. Um, I do apologise to any vegans out there if they don't like to hear that I eat meat. However, um, I am getting into more vegetarian options. Will I ever go vegan? Never say never. So, but I must admit, the ve the vegan stuff that I have tried and the vegetarian stuff that I have tried have been top notch. There's only been about one or two products of vegan and vegetarian foods that I have not liked. Other than that, I could see myself going vegetarian, but as for vegan, I'm still a little bit unsure. However, like I said beforehand, we'll never say never and we'll have to watch this space and find out. Hi guys, um, I just tried to upload um, the footage that I ran with today with my camera, my action camera. Again, what is it called? Siskin. Siskin camera. Again, it's only a cheap... 
£25 camera, but um, it wouldn't upload today my footage. So I don't know whether it's the camera or if it's the memory card. It sounds like the memory card. But um, I've just had to reformat my camera and then try and film to see whether it would film. It now films, it now holds my thing. So I'm saying it's the memory card. But until I get another memory card, I'm going to have to keep reformatting my memory card, charging my camera up before going out on a run as well because I've noticed um, if you if your camera's not fully charged you do your run and it doesn't last the battery don't last on your run well I charged that camera up before I went on my 5k today and the battery life was really good um, so I think I'm having kind of a love-hate relationship with the camera um, <laughs> I'm trying to iron the kinks out now so that when my run in May comes I can use it and get at least some footage even if I don't get all of it I can get some footage um, so yeah I'm trying to iron out the kinks and use it now to see what I have got to do what I haven't got to do and uh I just, I, I, I just feel I'd like a GoPro now. This will, this will keep me going, but I just feel a GoPro would be better. But then, if I had a GoPro and it was the memory card, the memory, it would be the memory card, and I'd probably be having this same conversation. So, um, if you want to just be an everyday kind of um, camera fitness person and you're on a budget that's the camera for you if not um yeah don't get it i mean uh, yeah the the best way i can say is i'm having a love-hate relationship with it um yeah you have to use the um instructions it's not that straightforward they do say it is easy but it's not that straightforward so unless i'm doing something wrong i could be doing something wrong but um we'll see i'll do a not tomorrow uh thursday i might be doing a 10k run so i might vlog the 10k run on my um action camera see whether it works this time and then um, I'm back to work after that. So it'll be as and when I can get footage on that camera then. But, yes. So I thought I'd give you a little update on the camera. So at the moment, I'm hating it. Tomorrow, I may love it. We'll have a... We'll, 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 shall we put a po poll on it? Shall we put a poll on it? Am I going to love it or am I going to hate it? What do you think? Am I going to love it in the next couple of days or am I going to hate it? I'll leave it there. Okay guys, I'm now going to try the Linda McCartney um, vegetable and mozzarella quarter pounder burger. Um, I have to admit, while cooking it, I was thinking, is this actually vegetarian or is this actually meat because it looks like natural meat burger so um yeah now um what i've done is i've got some pita bread put some pita bread there and then i've done some mushrooms if you can see the mushrooms there um and then i've got the um chippy potatoes that i do as well and i might put a little bit of tomato sauce on uh, somewhere or on the burger or something like that so now i'm going to um probably take a picture of this and um do a filming of me taste testing it so let's All right here we go i'm going to taste test this now oh it won't go in the wrap it won't go in the thing right there we go ready
Oh my god. I really can't describe how to, um, how can I describe this to you? It's like meat textured, but you know it's not meat. It's absolutely delicious. By the way, today, I've had no meat today. None whatsoever. And I was doing that a couple of weeks ago before I was on holiday and had some steak and some stuff like that. Um, before I started my holiday, I were having about two or three days without meat. It was just vegetables and mock meat and stuff like that. But I have to say, this is... I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going in for now. That is delicious. Even with no um even with no um tomato sauce and these are done with turmeric um olive oil, turmeric and uh garlic and salt and mm. it tastes so good. All right, yeah. Guys, I'm gonna have to go. I'm going to have to demolish it.